Today marks a significant moment in Scottish history as the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh become members of the prestigious Order of the Thistle. Stay tuned to discover the highlights of this grand ceremony and the illustrious attendees, including King Charles and Prince William. Curious about the Order of the Thistle and why it's such a big deal for the royal family? Join us as we dive into the details of this celebrated order of chivalry, the key figures involved, and the royal traditions that make this event unforgettable. The Queen and Duke of Edinburgh were officially installed as members of the Order of the Thistle during a majestic service at St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. Appointed as royal knights by King Charles III, Camilla and Edward joined fellow members, including Prince William, for this significant event. Also in attendance was Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, though notably absent were the Princess of Wales, undergoing chemotherapy, and Princess and recovering from a horse-related incident. Despite the grandeur of the event, the royal family faced protests from the anti-monarchy group Republic, who chanted Not My King and held up banners. The service went on with the king, the sovereign of the order, leading the proceedings. King Charles's personal appointments to the order are independent of Downing Street, emphasizing the significance of this honor. The Queen's deep connection to Scotland is evident through her patronage of Maggie's Cancer Care Centres, Crafty Opportunity Holidays, Scotland's Garden Scheme, and Horseback UK. She is also an honorary member of local organizations like the Ballader Women's Institute and the Upper Deeside Art Society, showcasing her commitment to various charitable causes in the region. Edward's appointment to the Order of the Thistle honors his dedication to Scottish charitable organizations, including the Edinburgh International Festival. The Order also welcomed Baroness Sue Black, a forensic anthropologist, Baroness Helena Kennedy, a distinguished lawyer, and Sir Jeff Palmer, a human rights activist and Scotland's first black professor, who has been Chancellor of Harriet Watt University since 2021. The Order of the Thistle, Scotland's highest order of chivalry, recognizes outstanding contributions to Scottish life. With 16 knights and ladies from various industries, including medicine, law, politics, business, and academia, the ceremony is steeped in tradition. The elaborate attire includes emerald green cloaks and black hats adorned with white ostrich feathers. Upon arrival, the king and queen received a royal salute from the king's bodyguard for Scotland, the Royal Company of Archers. They greeted key figures from Street Giles Cathedral and the Order of the Thistle, showcasing the ceremonial pomp and pageantry. Later today, the king and queen will attend an event celebrating the 900th anniversary of Edinburgh Castle. The festivities will include performances from Dance Bass and a poem by Sir Alexander McCall Smith. The royal couple will engage with local organizations, highlighting innovation, food, design, and charity in Edinburgh. Yesterday, the king and queen welcomed 8,000 visitors to the Palace of Holyrood House during Holyrood Week. The event included the introduction of the first female members of the palace's high constables and light-hearted conversations with guests, demonstrating the king's personable nature despite his recent health challenges. There you have it, folks! A grand celebration of the Order of the Thistle and the distinguished members who contribute so much to Scottish life. What are your thoughts on this royal tradition and the roles of the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh? Drop your comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exclusive royal insights. Thanks for joining us on Celeb Alert!